Dear audience, welcome back to our channel. You may have heard of Huawei, this Chinese tech giant that leads the development of communication technology globally, posing an unprecedented threat to the United States. But you may not know that there is another Chinese company, also creating miracles in another field. It's CATL, a company focusing on power batteries, has become a leader in the global market, making even the American tech giant Bill Gates admit, we are too stupid. CATL, a legendary company, has become another Huawei of China with its outstanding performance in the field of power batteries, shocking the world. However, the story behind it is full of twists and challenges, just like the winding road of entrepreneurship for its founder, Zhang Yuchuan. However, it is this spirit of fearlessness in the face of difficulties and perseverance in innovation that has enabled CATL to gradually rise and become a leader in the global power battery market. Behind this, we cannot help but wonder, 1. How did CATL stand out in the fiercely competitive power battery market and become a leader in the global market? What are its successful business strategies and market positioning? 2. When facing sanctions and restrictions from countries like the United States, how did CATL adjust its business model and expand its market to maintain its growth momentum? How did it deal with the uncertainties in the international market? 3. Compared to other competitors, what are the unique features of CATL's battery products that have earned favor from global automakers? How does it maintain the high quality, stability, and competitiveness of its products in the market? In 2021, the process of marketization of China's new energy vehicle market accelerated further. The new energy vehicle industry achieved unexpected development, with sales reaching a new high of 3.521 million vehicles for the whole year, ranking first in the world for seven consecutive years. At the same time, the market penetration rate has greatly increased to 13.4%, and electrification and intelligent technology have alternately improved and accelerated integration. Commercialization of autonomous driving technology has achieved multiple points of landing and blooming, attracting more non-industry enterprises to join the competition. The international competitiveness of China's new energy vehicle industry has also steadily increased. From the ranking of international competitiveness of the new energy vehicle industry, it can be seen that China has steadily increased from the fifth place in 2012 to the second place in 2021, and the relative competitiveness has also increased from 62 in 2012 to 9 in 2021. However, we must also realize soberly that China's new energy vehicle industry still faces some challenges. Firstly, cost advantages have not yet been formed, which limits the market promotion and popularization of new energy vehicles. Secondly, the imbalance between supply and demand of charging facilities is also an urgent problem to be solved, especially in some remote areas and urban centers. In addition, the development of new technologies and models is still relatively slow and requires greater research and development efforts and policy support. To promote the sustainable development of China's new energy vehicle market, we need to take multiple measures. The government can increase support for the new energy vehicle industry, provide more policy support and investment. At the same time, enterprises also need to strengthen technological innovation and product research and development, improve product quality and performance. In addition, it is also necessary to strengthen the construction and management of charging facilities, improve the coverage and service level of charging infrastructure. In short, China's marketization process of new energy vehicles has achieved significant achievements, but still faces some challenges. Through the joint efforts of the government, enterprises, and all sectors of society, it is believed that China's new energy vehicle industry will move towards a more prosperous future. The magnificent chapter of CATL originated from an outstanding individual named Zhang Yuchuan. He is the founder and leader of this company, as well as a legendary entrepreneur. Despite not having received higher education and coming from a prominent family, Zhang Yuchuan is a genuine worker who emerged from the countryside. 
His enthusiasm for battery technology and relentless pursuit of innovation set him apart. As a child, Zhang Yuchuan had a strong interest in batteries, often disassembling various electrical appliances to study and making batteries by himself. In his career, he has been involved in multiple industries, including electric vehicle repair, mobile phone battery sales, until finally venturing into establishing his own battery factory. It was these rich and diverse experiences that gradually accumulated valuable experience and capital for him. Finally, in 2006, Zhang Yuchuan founded CATL and officially embarked on the road dedicated to the field of batteries. However, the road to entrepreneurship has never been easy. In the early days, CATL faced numerous challenges, limited production scale, relatively backward equipment, and fierce market competition. Zhang Yuchuan drove hundreds of kilometers for an order, only to be rejected by the customer. Even worse, products were returned due to quality issues and faced lawsuits due to battery explosions. These adversities pushed him to the lowest point in his life. However, this resilient founder never gave up. He adhered to his beliefs and believed that as long as the product quality was excellent, the market would eventually recognize it. His unremitting efforts finally bore fruit in 2015. That year, China's new energy vehicle market experienced unprecedented growth, and the government introduced a series of policies and subsidy measures to encourage consumers to switch to new energy vehicles. For CATL, it was undoubtedly a rare opportunity. Zing Yuchuan keenly seized this opportunity and fully invested his years of accumulated technology and experience into the research and manufacturing of batteries. He tirelessly pursued progress and innovation, allowing CATL's products to reach the international leading level in both performance and safety. CATL's batteries quickly gained widespread recognition in the market. These batteries not only have longer endurance, faster charging speeds, and lower costs, but more importantly, they perform excellently in stability and safety, avoiding the risks of explosions and fires. These significant advantages have made CATL's batteries the preferred products for many automakers, whether domestic ones like BYD, Geely, Great Wall, or international brands like Tesla, Volkswagen, and BMW, all have chosen to cooperate with CATL and use its batteries as the power source for their vehicles. With the increase in the number of cooperative manufacturers, CATL's sales performance has continued to rise. Since 2015, CATL's battery sales have consistently ranked first in the world, maintaining a leading position for six consecutive years. By 2021, CATL's share in the global battery market had reached 30%, which means that one in every three new energy vehicles worldwide is equipped with CATL's batteries. Such performance has made CATL another tech giant of China, comparable to Huawei, attracting worldwide attention. However, CATL's success has also attracted some unfriendly attention. The United States, considering itself technologically advanced, has always harbored hostility towards China's technological progress. It has repeatedly suppressed and blocked Huawei, attempting to hinder its development but has not succeeded. When it noticed the rise of CATL, it began to adopt similar strategies, trying to prevent CATL's batteries from entering the US market through sanctions and restrictions, and even threatening other countries not to cooperate with CATL. Although the United States has tried various means to influence CATL, these strategies have not produced the expected results. On the contrary, these actions seem to have further strengthened CATL's corporate beliefs and development direction. Faced with pressure from US sanctions, CATL not only did not retreat but continued to promote research and development innovation, constantly improve its technological level and product quality, expand its market and seek new partners, and is committed to providing higher quality battery products for global new energy vehicles. With its actual achievements, CATL has confronted the pride and ignorance of the United States. Recently, Bill Gates' remarks undoubtedly affirmed CATL's strength. 
In a media interview, he frankly said, We are too stupid. This sentence shook the public. He further elaborated that this expressed the United States' understanding of China's technological development is far from enough and seriously underestimated China's innovation ability and huge market potential. He believes that if the United States can actively understand and support Chinese technology companies, rather than simply suppressing and sanctioning them, the two countries can achieve win-win cooperation rather than meaningless hostility and conflict. Gates also expressed his strong interest in CATL's battery technology and hopes to have some technical exchanges and cooperation with it to contribute to the global new energy cause. Gates' remarks are not only an affirmation of CATL but also a reflection and warning of the current situation in the United States. It prompts people to rethink, what is the ultimate goal of technology? Is it to compete for interests and power? or to serve the development of humanity and society? If we can set aside prejudices and biases, set aside disputes and conflicts, we will realize that the true value of technology lies in its creativity and progressiveness. Technology should not be a tool for division and conflict, but a bridge to promote cooperation and development. CATL is such a company. With its technology, it provides better power for new energy vehicles globally, contributes to global environmental protection, and sets an example for global technological progress. It is not only China's pride, but also the world's wealth. It is not only another Huawei of China, but also another Huawei of the world. It shows us that China's technology is not just about competition, but also about cooperation, not just about challenges, but also about opportunities, not just about threats, but also about hope. This is CATL, this is another Huawei of China, this is the battery king that makes the United States panic. Its story continues, its future unfolds, its dreams come true. We look forward to CATL continuing to play to its technological advantages, continue to create more miracles, continue to pave the way for the global new energy era and continue to contribute to the happiness and peace of all mankind. We believe that CATL will definitely achieve it. Finally, I will summarize today's video, hoping it has inspired and provided value to you. In today's international battery industry market, Chinese companies like CATL are gradually emerging as important forces in the global competitive landscape. Its success is not only a manifestation of product quality and technological innovation, but also the rise of China's manufacturing industry on the international stage. However, facing international market competition, we also need to realize that challenges and opportunities coexist. International competition is fierce, and technological innovation and product quality are the cornerstones of enterprise survival. But at the same time, we also need to pay attention to changes in international trade policies and market demand, flexibly adjust strategic layout. In addition, strengthening international cooperation and exchanges to jointly promote industry development is also an important issue before us. In the future, we need to consider how to balance independent innovation with international cooperation to promote the sustainable development of the battery industry. In addition to Chinese companies like CATL emerging in the international battery industry, there are also international battery giants such as Tesla, LG Chem, and Samsung SDI, and the competition among them is also very fierce. These international giants often have advanced technology and huge research and development teams, and their products have obvious advantages in performance and innovation. The competition between them and Chinese companies not only reflects the competition of technological strength, but also reflects the new pattern of global industrial competition. However, it is worth noting that the competition in the international battery industry is not only limited to the technical and product level, but also involves many factors such as market share, brand influence, and international trade policies. In such a competitive environment, Chinese companies need to continuously improve their own strength, strengthen innovation capabilities, and actively expand the international market, establish their own brand image, 
and strive for more cooperation opportunities. Welcome to share in the comments. Today's video ends here, see you next time with more exciting content. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.